All right, what's up my painting friends? This tutorial is gonna be a quick, easy one for beginners, I would say. It's gonna be an acrylic painting tutorial of this lovely moon lit uh, nighttime silhouette landscape. So yeah, pretty quick, easy one for you. And we're gonna use acrylic paint. So you're also going to need a circular tool if you're not really good at painting circles. It's really tough to paint a perfect circle and we have a moon in this painting so I'm just using a, this cap uh, to, and I'm gonna outline that on the canvas to get my moon shape. So you need that. Gonna need some paint brushes. I have a little variety of brushes here. Uh, some flat, mostly flat tipped, maybe one or two round tipped brushes. Need a cup of water and some acrylic paints. For our paint, we need titanium white, black, ultramarine blue, cadmium red, burnt umber, yellow oxide, or yellow ochre, either one would work, phthalo blue, violet, and this one is just like a really dark green. I uh, pre-painted this canvas brown, so I recommend doing this uh, with either brown, black, or dark blue. Either one's good and let that fully dry before you start actually painting. So now I'm gonna take some blue. And dip that in the water. I'll add a little bit of white too, just so I can see it when I start to sketch things out. And I'm just gonna do like a distant mountain scape back here, just a line. And then we're gonna have a tree line somewhere like around here kinda. Oop. I'll start it a little higher up. Something like this comes down, come back up. Just something, something kind of like that, just so we have a, an idea of where our plants are gonna go and our trees and our ground. Then I want my moon to be a little bit off center, but you can pick yours wherever you want it to go. And I'm just gonna paint right around that circle with my blue, and that's just gonna give me my circle shape, look at that. And then we just let that dry for a minute or two, and we can start to paint the night sky we have here. So the area right around the moon is going to be some ultramarine blue, cadmium red, white, a little more ultramarine blue, looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna go right over that blue that I painted and try to keep that circle as nice as I can. Just kind of wrap right around. Probably the hardest part of this entire painting is just trying to keep that circle shape perfect. <laughs> so just get that blue, cool blue gray color all around the circle. And then we're gonna add some white, a little bit more ultramarine blue, and just start to add that around the circle. making back and forth brush strokes. Letting it kind of blend in with your current color. That's right around the moon. keep things a little bit loose. You don't have to make this like a perfect transition there. There's a little bit of cloud, cloudy puffiness in here, so we aren't going to have a super perfectly smooth transition there. All right, now that we've got that, I'm going to work on 
the space inside the moon. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my, or a lot of bit of my white, a little bit of my yellow oxide color, and I'll take a little bit of burnt umber. Now that I got that color, I'm just going to take some more white and make a new spot. Add a hint more of that burnt umber. So now you can see those two colors there. I'm going to go with a lighter one and I'm just going to fill in the shape where the moon is. So again, being very careful not to go over that. All right, there we go, it looks a little better. Okay, we're gonna let that sit and dry for a bit and we're gonna start to work on more of the sky here. So now I'm gonna switch to a, this is a pretty decent mid, mid-size uh, round tipped brush and I'm gonna take some of my violet, some black, some of that yellow oxide color, mix a little white in there, and just start kind of bringing that right around the edges of what I already painted. some phthalo blue, black, more violet, and that'll be our color off in the distance here. So now you just want to kind of cover up the canvas all the way down to your mountain line. So add a little more phthalo blue and mix mix a hint of white in there from what you had before. We'll add that at the very bottom. Kind of bring that up. This is what's gonna allow the trees to be visible having this nice transition of like a cool blue into our purple. Okay, mixing a little bit of red. Keep adding red until it starts to look like a little bit of a warmer purple. I guess that's still a cool purple compared to what it was. And just brush that right up. Start to add a couple little clouds kind of peeking over. red, warm it up some more. There we go. All right, we got that layer in there. Now let's go back to white with ultramarine, a little bit of black. And we can start to blend out this color again. This is close to that first color I made. We're just doing some layering now to be able to build up these clouds a bit. 
I'm not holding the brush that tightly. I'm kind of, I'm holding the brush tightly, but I'm not pressing tightly. I'm letting it just glide that paint on the canvas. Now we're going to take some of that yellow oxide color, some white. And some burnt umber. Start to add that down here. Like the moon is just glowing and illuminating these clouds. Add a little bit of that reddish color under your oxide. Highlight clouds. And some more brown. Keep adding more of that yellow oxide and brown color all around. As if the moon's just lighting up all of these clouds right around it. We want to light up a little bit more right around the moon. So I'm just going to get that, put that brush away. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush that's flat tipped, but you know, it's been, it's been, it's seen its good days and now it's on its bad days. <laughs> and take a little bit of red with white and a little bit of violet. Start to add just like a hint of that color. Edges above the above the uh, yellow oxide color. Just let it blend in a little. A little bit up here too. right around the moon again. Just some white with some ultramarine blue. All right, we'll take a little thalo blue too, sure. Let's put this right up here. And I'm pressing the brush from all different angles just to get that paint to really give me that textured, puffy cloud look. And you can always cool it down, just add a little bit more of that blue color. So I'm just 
just keep playing around, adding some shadows in some spots and some highlights in some spots. That's what's really going to build up your clouds and make them look real. Let's do a little bit more violet. Start to add some red. Start to add some right, little puffs of clouds back here. Take some more white, that purpley color, and some more of the yellow oxide. Just start to carry these highlights down here some more. here. Then this highlights kind of just fade out into brown and then purple. All right now let's work on the stuff that's going on in the cloud or not the cloud in the moon. <laughs> so I'm going to switch to this smaller angled brush and I'm going to use my white with a little black and a little brown. And then we're just going to add that in some spots here, get those little craters, other things that are happening. Take a little more brown and black and some thalo. Then we can kind of dry brush in some of these darker spots. Whoops. And then of course we've got like some little highlights on the moon, so just clean off your brush really good. And then we'll take some pure white and add that. Nice little highlights really make the moon look all right now I've got the shape of the moon that's looking pretty nice and let's just build up a little bit more over here maybe we'll just do like a couple little Highlights with the ultramarine, the white, and a little bit of that purple-red. It'll build it up a little bit lighter. 
by adding some more white. And then we'll just start to add these little highlights here. And go a little darker down here. Just for the bottoms of these clouds. I'm just playing around with the shadows, adding a couple more just really dark shadows to keep boosting the depth of the sky. of violet and red and white. I'm just gonna touch that up right around here. on the tree line. So we've got this mountain back here. I'm going to switch to a big, big flat tip brush and I'm going to start with black, phthalo blue, and I'm use a little bit of that green color too, and a little bit of white. And I'm just going to go over that ridge line one more time, just like that. Can use more phthalo blue at the top. And now that we got that top ridge, we're gonna mix in ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, that green, and some white. And start to add that. Then we just kind of blend that up into the mountain color here. And then add a little bit more blue, a little more white. Let's add some phthalo blue. And more white. Yeah, we'll use that color down at the base. And then just kind of work it up diagonally about the same angle, maybe just a little steeper than the mountains. And you want to do all this while your paint's still wet so it can give you that nice look of like some little valleys, little river valleys forming in the mountain there. I'm just going to bring it a little bit darker again down there. All right, so that part was pretty quick. Now let's take a little bit more phthalo blue and just work on that and just bring things down from the top. Start to make some of the valleys kind of come out a little bit. There. Got a little purple mixed in there. Okay. But you get the idea. There's that. There's the mountain. And it's a little bit lighter towards the bottom. Okay, then we can do our trees in the foreground. So now I'm gonna mix violet with black, and we can use that green color too. Turns out we didn't really need that green color. And now we're just gonna, I'm just gonna do like a ledge here. I'm just gonna do the base of the mountain first, and then we'll go back and add our trees. So just cover that all in your color. You could just use pure black if you want to. That would also work. OK, 
Okay, and then keep using a flat tipped brush. You definitely need a flat tip brush for this one. And take some black and just like another cool color, whether it's a blue or a dark green or a purple. I'm just gonna do some lines for where we wanna have some trees. Make sure they're not all perfectly evenly spaced. And we can just put some bushes down here. Just like that. Okay, now for the pine tree, you just kind of get enough paint on your brush so you don't have all kinds of crazy excess paint and just do some little diagonal lines coming out from the top. And just keep holding your brush at an angle. I have a video about how to paint pine trees that I recently did on my channel. If you want to get some more info on how to paint pine trees, you can watch that. I'm just going to paint all these little now I can just go side to side, that makes things a little bit easier. Then you just kind of do like some more crisscross lines and stuff like that so you can give it a little texture down here. It doesn't just look like you have trees all sitting right on the ridge with nothing else around. If you're having a hard time holding this brush, large brush and you can switch to a smaller brush it just takes a little bit longer to get all of your little limbs on here make sure you make some of these branches coming down some going out to the side it's gonna be all over the place Just keep working until all of your trees have their leaves on them. And there we go. That's basically it. I, I think we could do like a couple little highlights on these trees if we want to just get a little something like the like the moon's kind of lighting them up a bit just throw a couple little highlights on some of their trees if you want to pull them closer to the foreground just add little highlights on the tops of the branches Just separates everything a little bit more and just do a little bit more with this 
blue. Maybe just add a couple more little plants or something down here so it's not quite so boring. And that is it guys. There is the completed painting. That was a pretty easy one to do. I think the hardest part was just the moon and the stuff right around the moon. So I hope you enjoyed this painting tutorial. Fun little easy one. Not a lot of detail but still nice to get some paint on the canvas. If you have any recommendations for future painting tutorials then leave a comment below and I will have prints of this painting available if you are interested in grabbing a print. I will link that in the description as well. If you do recreate this painting then you can post it on my Facebook page, The Painting Stoof, or you could post it on your own Instagram profile and just tag me so I can see it. And my Instagram name is at the underscore painting underscore stoof. So looking forward to seeing your recreation of this piece. Happy painting and have a great day. Bye bye!